First, I would like to give all glory to God for letting me be here today. Working hard will take you a long way in life because what you put in is what you're going to get out. Find your purpose, walk in your purpose, and everything else will take care of itself. It's huge for our kids to leave, go and experience life, and then come back and give our kids all that good information that they got. On this journey, like, I took a step of faith, not knowing what, what it's going to lead me to, but I knew God was in control. You know what peer pressure is? It's been like God was calling me. He was calling me every day, calling me, and I'm, I'm answering it, and I'm telling him to show me what he want me to do. Put, like, get in control, take the wheel. But I was pushing what he was doing away. He was doing it, but I was pushing it away, trying to live for other people. And that was eating me up inside. So it was like I had everything I could have, I dreamed, like everything I dreamed of, going to Division One, all of that. But it was something bigger than that. I mean, I thought I was going to go to Division One and use that platform to do what he wanted me to do. But it was different. He wanted me to be in front of the people. He wanted me, be, want me to be in the streets, talking to the people, touching the street. Well, this is huge for him to, one, he was a leader of a football team. So that means that he can lead a group. He can lead a group of young men. That's going to embark on him moving into his own life, his own family, uh, and raising young men for himself. And continuing to lead the masses, not just his kids when he has them, but even just young men all around. I knew that I ain't come this far just to come this far. Like, it's something bigger than me. It's something bigger than what I can see. When you leave high school, you go back down to zero. So now I'm in a bigger, bigger um, environment. So now it's a whole bunch of distractions. Like everything that people doing out there is really negative and left you go and find the people that's doing the positive stuff. So everybody really just living for the world. It mean everything to me. Like every day that I wake up is what I stand for. That's what, that's how I attack the day every day. It's all a process. It ain't gonna come overnight. Like microwave success is what people expect. That's what Instagram trying to show to people like that it just come overnight. It don't happen like that. It, it take time and it's God time. So it ain't on your time. You can't wake up and just expect it. it's gonna come when it come. And you gotta be ready for it when it come. What you use your time doing on social media? What you looking at? Like on your For You page, what's popping up? Is it positive or is it negative? Is it good or is it bad? Is it inspiring you or is it motivating you or is it bringing you down or discouraging you, taking away your peace? My brand is what you put in is what you're going to get out. I always believed in that. I always had faith in that. Sometimes the, the reward that I thought was going to come from it, it never came from it. So I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I don't want to be one of them people that's 60, 70, trying to figure it out. I want to be, I want to figure it out right now. Like they say, enjoy it right now. I'm, I'm enjoying it, trying to figure it out. Like every day I'm trying to figure some out. I'm trying to figure out how to get 1% better. I mean, just building the foundation again, steady, steady keeping the foundation strong. Like you always gotta do the fundamentals. So, I mean, stand, stand to myself, that's really something that, that I do out there. So I, I know that ain't nothing distracting me. So. I'm connected, I'm connected and I'm listening. I'm open to hear when God called on me, I'm open to hear it. Now I'm here. He put me here in front of 400 kids. I mean, it's nothing better than that. Now it's just hoping that they apply it. I gave it to them, I hope they apply it.